Shade Room. We've been blessed enough to be the marketing platform for restaurants all over the country, but absolutely no charge to these restaurants, including Detroit, Chicago, Miami, New Orleans, Vegas, and many more to come if we're blessed to do that. My family and my community have also been blessed enough to raise over $30,000 for a restaurant owner who has cancer. Not to mention other thousand incredible things we've been blessed enough to do. But yet, the only two times you've ever posted me and my family were videos of me crying with little to no context. To your community who draw their own context with no context. Granted, they have posted this before when I was doing Rodney's pregnancy cravings and when I was cooking. But I mean, very specific to this last year since I started doing food reviews. This has sparked multiple conversations of not only my sexuality, but also outrageous questions about who bought the car that my wife got me for my birthday. Before, some people try to gaslight me, saying I shouldn't be surprised that my wife got me a car because she bought the gift with my money and she spent my money and she a gold digger. is very demeaning to my wife and myself. Pocket watching is crazy. That's Let's be honest, you don't know where my wife money come from. My wife is blessed enough to do really well. Relax. Y'all can talk about me all y'all want. That don't bother me none. When y'all start demeaning my wife and my family, that's where I draw the line. I've been very clear and transparent about the fact that I have imposter syndrome and I don't really know how to accept gifts. I've never known how to accept gifts. I barely know how to accept where I am in life. I just be vibing, eating food, minding my business, staying by my family. All of this is different to me. All of this is a, an adjusting period. I just be chilling. I really do. <laughs> and yes, I'm very in touch with my emotions. If that makes me less manly in your eyes, that's your opinion. I'm completely fine with that. Again, y'all don't bother me none. Just leave my wife alone. That's all I ask. And I want to be very clear with my words. I'm not saying Shade Room was wrong for posting it. I just like to think we've been blessed with a lot more material that can be used. Just two weeks ago, during Hispanic Pride Month, we completely bought out a random ice cream vendor and passed out the ice cream for free. In my eyes, that's worthy to post. And that's all I'm saying. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. Come to me all you want. Leave her out of it. We just be eating food, praying, staying together, and chilling. We don't bother nobody. Nobody.